All right, the validation of our cluster is completed successfully. I wanted to show you a little high level my cluster environment. In my case, in this demo, we had TBS node one, TBS node two, and uh, we had the external network and private network for heartbeat as well and shared drives. The validation of all both of these nodes is completed. The validation of shared drives is completed. The validation of networks are completed successfully without any warning. Again, if you're uh, using this cluster for production and you see any warning, it will let you create the cluster, but um, those warnings needs to be taken care of before you can um, call this as a production cluster. So our next target is to create the cluster. In order to create the cluster, you would need an IP address right here in my case it's going to be 192.168.1 and 60 and TBS 2012 cluster is going to be my name all the users once your cluster is stood up and you put the applications cluster where applications such as SQL Server on the cluster uh, people will come the users will come and connect with SQL Server using your logical cluster name when you create the logical cluster name it's going to go ahead and create an object in Active Directory and um, if you go back to my videos I have made sure that uh, that uh, cluster uh, admin account cluster service account needs to have that permission so I have made sure that I'm using that account and that account does have permission to create computer object in Active Directory so let's go ahead in my case right here our validation is completed successfully if you look at the report one more time everything is success so we're ready to create the cluster we're gonna go ahead and use the same wizard you can close this wizard basically and uncheck this create cluster now if you wanted to create the cluster later you can come back here right click and create cluster it will give you warning that you need to run the validation configuration wizard but that's okay once you have made sure that your validation is completed successfully you can skip that part but uh, since we have uh, we're right on it we're gonna go ahead and create cluster we're gonna go ahead and click finish and it will uh, bring up a create cluster wizard so right here is um, you, know, you need to just maybe if you wanted to not see this message again you can click on do not show this message again so we're gonna go ahead and click next right here is the cluster name uh, if you, we go back right here this is going to be TBS 2012 cluster and IP is going to be 60 so we're gonna go go ahead and use that information in our cluster creation TBS 2012 cluster and up here you need to put the static IP in our case it's going to be 60 so right here is our IP address let's go ahead and click next this is the confirmation page right here are you ready to create the cluster and the cluster name is going to be this and these are the two nodes is going to be part of this cluster and IP address of for this cluster is going to be 192.168.160 so uh, add all eligible storage to the cluster uh, what it would do is basically if it say, sees any shared drives let me show you right here if we go all computer Let me go ahead and go on node 2 all the during the validation it fails over it does the simulation so if we go up here and go to the my computer you will see all the shared drives right here F F is for data SQL Server data I'm going to use this cluster primarily for SQL Server and log L is for logs quorum is Q and temp DB is T so let's go ahead and uh, is going to basically um, go in node one when we up here this check add all eligible stories to the cluster so it's going to add all those shared drives so let's go ahead and click next it is going through the cluster configuration port 
and see if it, there is any warning or errors there is no warning or errors so we're gonna go ahead and click finish and it should show up right here as you can see right here tech brothers tbs 2012 cluster dot tech brothers dot local this uh, this is a logical object that was created that is created in your active directory or in my case in my active directory and dns settings is all there so this is a first view of your cluster that you just created name is right here current host is tbs node one and network is network one and cluster network two this is cluster network two right here is the private this is the heartbeat and recent cluster event none as far as uh, uh, it goes and witness right here uh, it took cluster disk 4 uh, we do need to make sure that uh, if it took the disk that we intended it to take keep in mind that when we created the disk I created the uh, quorum uh, about 512 MB so if it has taken any of the disk basically during the configuration that is not intended for quorum drive we're going to go ahead and change that so let's go ahead and expand the cluster and look at roles right now there is no role because we haven't uh, installed any application on this cluster so far if you click on nodes you will see that uh, all the nodes that's involved in cluster and they're both up and running and let's go ahead and look at look at the storage disk right here there are four disks right here luckily that uh, a cluster quorum four disk witness in quorum right here it is it has taken four but uh, we're gonna make sure that basically that's right for it to take it is 512 it's ha it has taken basically the right quorum but I'm gonna go ahead and show you that if it hasn't taken the right quorum how you can change that so uh, networks right here there are two networks cluster only and cluster and client this is cluster and client that would be our external network and cluster only up here is the private that is also known as heartbeat if you wanted to look at the cluster events you can click on here right now there there isn't any events but this is going to be very useful for us in case our cluster has a problem or it failed over this tab right right here is going to uh, really be very helpful for us so let's look at um, click on cluster and click on more action and up here you will see configure cluster quorum setting let's say that it has taken a disk that is not basically your um, uh, intended disk for the quorum you can click on cluster go to more actions click on configure cluster quorum setting and click next right here is use default quorum configuration and select quorum witness and advanced you can click on advanced quorum configuration and uh, it'll show you that uh, that assign or remove node votes this is the quorum votes right here right now both nodes are selected for that so let's go ahead and click next configure a disk witness so you need to click on configure a disk witness and you can also use um, file share if you have a share uh, file share out there that you wanted to basically use as a quorum you can use that too so click on next and right now it has taken right here the disk 4 you can expand that and right in my case it has taken the right uh, uh, quorum disk but in your case if the quorum disk is not right you can go ahead uncheck this bar and find your right disk and click on that and click next and it will basically change the quorum configuration so let's go ahead and cancel now this um, uh, cluster is ready for us to take any application that is cluster aware in our case this is going to be used for our SQL Server configuration SQL Server installation we're going to go ahead and install our SQL Server uh, in cluster mode and use this cluster as our main cluster and um, um, have our SQL Server installed in cluster mode